Hi, my name is Michael. I'm a fourth year medical student here at the Medical College of Wisconsin. And I'm going to be talking about today sharp safety um, and how to properly mount and dismount uh, a scalpel blade. First, open the scalpel blade halfway, exposing the end of the blade that gets mounted on the handle. Notice the miter. The miter needs to be oriented in the same direction as on the handle. Use your needle driver, forceps, or hemostat to grab the end of the blade, keeping your fingers away from the end of the blade. Next, take the handle and engage the blade. Gently press forward. After the blade is engaged, take the needle driver and grab the end of the blade. With your hands together, pull the blade back towards yourself. Then take the forceps and remove the package from the blade. You are ready to go. Removing the blade. Ideally, the best way to avoid injuries from removing a scalpel blade is to use a removal device like a blade flask. It works as a sharps container. To remove a blade from your scalpel, orient the blade as shown on the front of the blade flask. Push it in all the way and you will hear a click. Then pull back and you will hear the blade drop off. If you are using a scalpel in an area that doesn't have a blade flask available, you will need to remove the blade manually. This is another point where we've seen injuries. Before you're ready to replace the handle, make sure you have a sharps container close by. With the blade end away from yourself and your hands together, use the forceps to lift underneath the end of the blade and gently push it forward. Then take your forceps hemostat or needle driver, place one end through the edge of the blade and gently drop it into the sharps container. Whenever you're removing the scalpel, always keep your hands away from the blade. This is how many injuries occur. Also, always remember to keep your red sharps container or blade flask as close to the area of disposal as possible. You do not want to be walking across the room to dispose of sharps. 